What up, YouTube? Big Little Big Louie's Coach Review back again with a little tutorial on how to create an 8.4 volt mechanical stackable mod. That's right. I'm using a rig version 2 and a sub ohm innovation shorty. Okay. Up top, I got a battle deck sitting with the captain cap and brass and a suck it drip tip by Dr. Handcrafted. Okay, now this is a pretty interesting setup because normally these tube mods were only built and designed to fire at 4.2 volts with the obvious voltage drop down to possibly maybe 3.7, 3.8 volts. But when you're building a stackable series mod, your voltage drop, you know, you're at 8.4, but your voltage drop is actually roughly around 8.2 volts which means the type of build that you got to put in your RDA has to be at least a minimum of 0.35 and above in resistance, okay? So, you know, some people, they say, oh, dude, I have 8.25 or 0.15 all day in a series build. Well, I wouldn't because your batteries would get mega fucking hot, mega fucking quick. Even at 0.41 ohms, this mod, this setup that I got here actually gets kind of warm, all right? And um, I feel confident with the brass and the copper mixed and everything. So some people would say, oh, we got brass on the bottom and copper up top. I understand. But I'm going to show you how I put this together. I didn't originate this idea. Actually, my friend Pug Chop had seen somebody do it on Facebook. I had the sub ohm uh, shorty mod, the sub ohm innovations copper shorty mod on me and um you know my co-worker he had the rig v2 on him and then you know we put it together and we were trying to figure out how it worked and the way the batteries go in they go in positive down just like in the shorty mod the shorty mod the instructions tell you specifically when you put a battery in it the battery has to be facing downward at the button because that's where the positive is supposed to be on this particular mechanical mod on the rig version two, you could put it uh, positive up or positive down. Doesn't really matter. But for this setup, the batteries, the positive has to be facing the switch, okay? So I'm gonna take it apart, show you guys what I did to put it together and fire it and use it and enjoy it and love it. Okay, so basically what we have is two or actually three authentic devices here we've got our rig version 2 okay is the rig version 2 this is a brass it's number 60 okay you can see i have a little dent in the bottom by the switch right here these things were built pretty thick so the walls of this uh brass tube is actually pretty thick so if you drop it you don't really have any worries of destroying it now down there you can't see it but there is a copper pin for the copper button on the rig and this is a spring-loaded uh, button on the rig, okay? And you can see also the threading doesn't start at the very top. It's countersunk the threading in the rig, okay? So you can see the nice thick wall right there. And in the top piece right there, you got the threads that are countersunk, okay? Now, uh, this does take two batteries. I'm using 25Rs, the green ones, uh, good batteries. I'm also using a battle deck by comp life along with a captain version 2 wide bore so i could accommodate the suck it drip tips by dr handcrafted really beautiful hand lathe drip tips guy really knows what he's doing you should check him out he's at uh suck it drip tips .com, okay and i really really dig this rda with this cap and this this um this drip tip is just amazing. Such an awesome drip tip. Now, uh, this is the Sub Ohm Innovation Shorty. It's the copper mod. It does have a pin up top, and it's got a nice, slightly beveled edge up top. And you can see the logo Sub Ohm Innovations. This is an authentic. Now, the way this works is you simply just unscrew the bottom switch area to remove the switch housing. And that is our contact right there, okay, for the sub ohm innovation. And then you have to remove this spring right here, okay. But you keep 
this contact in here. This is where the positive meets inside of the tube. So you remove this top piece right here. That's our top. And you simply just take a battery, positive facing down into the tube. Okay. Screw this back in. Put my RDA up top. Now, this is a real simple construction. I mean, it just, you don't have to be a genius to figure this out. That's a male threaded screw. This is a female threaded opening. Simply just take the mods. But before I do that, positive, facing down, slide that in, and screw them together. And there you have it. It's a little long, but it is nice though. And it does work very well. So the coils that I'm rocking on this particular uh, tube mod setup that I got here, I'm running a GM coil straight out of Canada, a guy by the name of Giovanni. Uh, Giovanni makes really nice coils. I spoke about him in the past. He goes by GM Coils. So if you go to hashtag or at symbol on Instagram and look up at GM underscore coils right there. GM underscore coils. Right now I'm currently rocking. Oh, it's not this one. I'm sorry. It's this one. Yeah, currently right now I am rocking Series Fuse Clapton's 28 gauge core with 38 gauge wrap around with Nichrome 80. Uh, eight wraps on a three millimeter ohming out to four, uh, 0.41 ohms, okay? And juice of choice for this video, which is something new, it hasn't been released yet, but once it does, you guys are gonna love this product. It's called Funk Master Flakes. It's a vanilla frosted cornflake e-liquid. It's fucking delicious. You guys are really, really gonna like this liquid. If you're out there, you want to pick it up, it's a 60 mil bottle, and it just tastes amazing, okay? You're going to love it. Funk Master Flakes, I'll do a review on it. I mean, I don't really need to review it, because honestly, it's fucking good, and you're going to like it. If uh, your local brick and mortar shop doesn't carry it, tell them to give a call to East Coast Vape Distribution. Pick up that liquid, it's a damn good e-liquid, all right? Really tasty, really tasty. And it vapes like an animal. I mean, it's uh, you're working with 8.2 volts at a 0.41 ohm. You know, I'm sure the amperage on that is through the roof, but it doesn't matter because it works fine. You know, it really works fine. And the Suck It Drip Tip up top by Dr. Handcrafted, it's just so comfortable in the mouth and using it and vaping it with a wide bore Captain Cap, it just it's just an amazing uh, way to vape, really. And the thing just fucking chucks, folks. It fucking hits really, really hard, okay? So for those of you who can't afford or don't have the money to pick up an aluminum Able mod by the Avid Life guys, whether it's the cotton candy one, which is one of 20, or if it's just your standard flattered black with the flattered black extension tube, you know, if you can't afford to pick it up, Total this setup right here, the what you're looking at basically. This one is roughly 239 plus another 109. So you're looking at I don't know two three forty-eight, you know, roughly around there. Uh, with this setup I got here, you got 150 bucks for the sub ohm innovation shorty mod, and then you got the brass rig v2, which is gonna cost you another 120. So do the math, it's really not gonna be that much money. 270 bucks. Definitely a lot lower than picking up something like this. But if you love AV products like me, and you got two stackable mods, I mean, it's just, they're just awesome mods. They, they hit and work really, really well. And they're very, very conductive. Um, whereas this is very, very conductive itself as well, but it's also very heavy, okay? So if you're looking at your vape budget hands and you happen to own either a Rig V2 or a Sub Ohm Shorty, and you want to make a stackable you could do either or purchase either or 
and make it work for you. At least now you know how to do it, okay? Um, like I said, I didn't invent this. Somebody else came up with the idea and did it. I saw it. I just want the world to know about it. I don't think that person has enough followers or anything like that to let the whole world know. So here I am letting the whole world know. If, uh, if I knew the guy's name, I would just say his name. But honestly, I don't know his name. And Pug Chop didn't know the guy's name either. So that's it. So for me to YouTube, peace out. Like, comment, and subscribe to these videos as they come. Hopefully this was educational and helpful. For me to YouTube, laters.